As I'm trying to do design my portable generator, I've been waiting for quite a while and things have been going slowly because I have other things I was doing. Guys, I want to show you some preparation and I want to get this thing done now. I meant now. So, and end up checking out some of the stuff. I have a, a Samlex inverter. It's not brand new. But it's a 24 volt system. And Samlex, they're really good inverters. So this is the inverter. It's a 300 watt, 24 volt, 220 volt AC. Pure sine wave. It has um, a GFCI breaker for 120 volt AC. 60 hertz and it has a fault light and green orange for faults and if it's working right but this little guy is so powerful there's a connection right there at ground positive negative now it's a bus bar uh burst terminal you can take up to about uh 20 amp at 32 volt. This is the thing I want to brag about. 32 volt DC input. This one can take a higher voltage compared to them pips or compared to the other inverters. It's almost in a range with um, the uh, Magnums. The Magnum 24 volts can go up to about 33, 32, 33. And um, look at this little guy. Samlex has done it again. 20 amps, 32 volts. AC rating. Okay. The inputs up to about 33, sorry. It went about 21 to 33 volts. It's more than the PIP. I don't know what the recent one is, but it's more than, it's almost the same with the uh, Magnum, Magnusine inverters. This little guy, that's why I chose this one and that's why I kept it for so long because I want to utilize this for these guys. So I can able to put an 8.1 or 8 volt um, Nissan Leaf battery, which is going to be 8 times 4. So 8, 8, 16, you're going to have a 32 volt if I decide to run them at... Um, uh, 8 volt nominal or if I want to go 8.1 I can still do that because this inverter is uh, it went up to about 33 volt and it can able to go all the way to 21 down but I don't want to go that far but guys this inverter is awesome but um, I decided I want to show you guys and this is what I I'm planning and I have these batteries uh, sitting at uh, 7.88 7.88 7.87 just a one 0 0.1 millivolt and here is a nice ribbon cable it's just a like a ribbon but it's designed really cool with this kind of thing to you know get it all stacked so you can be doing any kind of crazy stuff so this wire can go up to about thousand volt let's check this out it can go up to about thousand volt right there is a two gauge wire the reason why it's not showing is a okay maybe this black one is kind of got a gold painted thing on it so I bought this from ACDC. It's a water resistant oil and all the good stuff. And here is my um, Midnight Solar Incorporated MNSPD, which is a surge protector for lightning and surge. And that's a 300, that's a DC. And here, it's a MNSPD 
300 volts suppressor 300 volts with the LED indicator which you're gonna be saying why do you end up having two of the same kind well the thing is it's a mistake I ordered one I didn't know that I thought I have the um, the 115 or maybe I ordered the, the 600 but that's not what happened when this other one show up a uh, few days ago was yesterday or whatever a few days ago and look at the number it's the same and here is the um, you can see is the midnight mate 3 surface mount so these are the stuff I have here which I want to show you guys and um, I hope you can able to see and uh, probably you like it I don't know but tell me what you think and um, this is not part of the uh, generator kit this is just for my mounting my mate 3 on it and uh, this is how it looks like just a, a panel okay and it has a little thing to go protect the wire so they can cut it you know rob and get a slice so I just decided to put my mid 2 inside there because I want to show you guys what I'm up to and this is all the good goodies and how you're gonna mount the mate so we don't know if we're gonna use that but these are my lightning arresters okay and here is the other one it's a mistake there is another one so this is the problem I have and this is what I end up um, getting into which um, I wasn't expecting and I have my my wire here which I think is really cool and the inverter so guys this is the thing so we're gonna try and build rebuild this entire thing sorry for the camera shake and get it done once and for all live again in Minnesota JW Solo USA I started a live stream but I don't think it's a success for me I don't know who likes the live stream let me know if we're gonna continue live stream or just keep recording and post it but I want to um, have a communication with you guys directly at least I can you guys can talk to me live while I'm doing some stuff and you guys can be part of it that makes it really cool because some of you guys I'm not able to talk to you guys because I don't have your phone numbers um, I'm not on Facebook with you guys you know so I don't know let me know what you think and uh, we get from there if I continue with the live stream or does it worth it doesn't worth it what you guys like about it and um, it will be cool if we talk I was hoping for that but uh, connection issues and thanks for watching JW Solar USA this is just a chit chat thing about solar portable solar solar generator and let's talk about solar thanks for watching bye for now